Being denied the right for doctors to legally end his life was heartbreaking for Tony Nicholson. The Right to Die campaigner said his existence was worthless and if he couldn't kill himself, someone else should be able to help him. Britain's High Court didn't agree. It ruled against him on August the 16th, meaning assisted suicide is still punishable as murder. But now Tony has his ultimate wish. On Wednesday morning, he died at home. The death certificate, signed by a doctor, listed natural causes. Tony went rapidly downhill over last weekend, having contracted pneumonia. He had made an advance directive in 2004, refusing any life-sustaining treatment and also refused food from last week. A huge stroke in 2005 had left the rugby-playing family man paralysed from the neck down, wheelchair-bound and needing round-the-clock care. For the last few months of his life, Tony Nicholson had taken his campaign to die online, using modern technology to blink messages onto Twitter. His last tweet, typed out by his family, said, Goodbye world, the time has come, I had some fun. His wife, Jane, and two daughters then followed that with a message of thanks for the years of support and a request for privacy. Despite Tony's clear wish for someone to help him die, British police are satisfied that there's nothing they need to investigate. But the question remains, what of his appeal to overthrow the court ruling and get Britain's prohibition on assisted suicide removed? Unless someone in similar circumstances steps forward to carry it on, says his lawyer, that appeal dies with Tony. Rory Challens, Al Jazeera.